with a nutritionist to tell us about some of the latest trends. Oh no, this what? would be the lovely Carmen Black. Well, I'm thinking, that how did Marcy get this? Marcy Jones. How you doing? How do you make oh, that? No, oh, here comes the hand. Again. Do the hand. You know you want to. There it is. It's. Well, okay, well, let's, let's, get, let's get started. Okay, so what we're talking about here is we want to add variety to our foods. It's the new year. We want to eat clean. We want to be healthier. So I have Jessica here with me. She's a registered dietitian, but she also works very closely with ASU as well, right, Jess? Yes, um, I teach nutrition in the College of Health Solutions. Of course. So yes. you've got lots of stuff out here to show us. Yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about what all is on the table. I see some greens. We see quinoa. Tell us what's on the table. Great. Okay. Okay, so eating healthy really is also about, um, you know, staying within your budget and eating things that taste good and that don't take a lot of time to put together. So, all right, so we've got here a lot of really great, um, you know, vegetables and fruits and things. And in this category, we have bitter foods. Okay. Bitter foods are a big trend for this year. And so, you know, normally we think of bitterness as maybe something that is kind of something to avoid, right. but actually it's a sign of nutrients. Right. And so a lot of bitter foods contain vitamins, minerals, and and fiber and yeah. so we need all these things and sometimes what we can do is use bitter foods as an accent mm -hmm. to add sharpness and pleasure for other things like for example um, you know we can um, you know include arugula which is a pretty right. bitter sharp green but we can add that to like a pizza with yeah. prosciutto and parmesan oh. so that would be very <laughs> delicious <laughs> yes okay. um, and then of course you know there's some bitter foods that um, like we usually we don't maybe tend to think of coffee and tea as bitter but they actually do fit into this category You've got some and they do have right some I do yes mm -hmm. and these do have um, you know really helpful compounds okay. for us as well as dark chocolate so I think too with the with the bitter foods mm -hmm. this is the group that's really hard for everyone it's lots of greens right. naturally when we see greens lots of people shy away from it it doesn't yeah. taste good but that's not really so much the case no, and you know and this is a great opportunity to add a little sweetness in our cooking methods okay. so we can roast vegetables like turnips and other root, root vegetables we can roast them to bring out their natural sweetness and also add maybe a little agave, a little maple right. syrup when we cook like these chocolate vegetables. Too. Chocolate is also a classic right. bitter right. food that we can yeah, think how good it tastes paired with coffee. Right. So pairing two bitter foods together often Super takes important. away the bitterness, but it emphasizes their flavor profiles. So that could be, for example, you know, it could be uh, broccoli and cucumbers. Right. So when we eat them together, they don't comp, they don't um, you know, add to their bitterness, right. sort of take it away. Um, cranberries are also a bitter food, but they add um, a wonderful flavor mm -hmm. also. So it's a great ingredient for salads and you, you know when we're you've got other groups greens. too I know we're you, running yeah. out of time we, sure. we've got to get some other stuff. so hemp foods that's another fun trend really for 2019 and so these are rich in healthy fats and right. also um, you know th they add such a great nutty taste mm -hmm. to things like cereals and yogurts and, and smoothies well. okay plant proteins are an amazing category that right. we all need to be eating more of because it's got more you know plant proteins have protein fiber they're good for the environment they're good for our wallets because they tend to be very budget friendly and you know, there's so many wonderful things we can take advantage of in the frozen section. Um, you know, there are lots of shelf stable things, great snack foods, canned foods. So, so easy stuff to make easy and to cook at night. Easy. Yeah. Just grab your plant protein. So, so if I wanted to go to dinner tonight, guys, I would probably just grab a basket. I'm going to make this really quick. Okay. And Jess is going to put quinoa, in what, a quinoa kale. burger oh, for me. Good. Quinoa okay. burger. Wow. Yeah. Quinoa yeah. burger. Maybe I'll put some arugula. Some broccoli. Like broccoli Easy too. Pile it in, sister. Oh, We're piling it in. delicious. Put yeah. it all. I can see the pounds flying off of you. Not that you oh. need it. No, <laughs> Carmen, can right? we come over for dinner right? then? Because that looks like a oh, good dinner. Funny, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys can come over. Mm -hmm. And I think we yeah. got the hand thing wrong. I, I felt like last time you had more of a, a curve. She brought on it, it in. And I this think. last one was just more of a straight, like this. Yeah. I guess there's different variations of the hand. Uh,